The bar on the back, or what is known as the standard squat, or with the bar placed on the front of the body for what is known as the front squat. Due to the biomechanics involved, where you hold the bar when you squat will have a major impact on the muscle groups emphasized. As you can see here, when you descend into a squat with the bar placed on your back, you must bend far forward at the hips to keep the bar stable on your back. This means that as you drive up out of the squat to a fully upright position, you have to use the glutes and hamstrings to extend at the hips. And of course, you also use the quadriceps to extend at the knees and straighten your legs. This makes the standard squat with the barbell on the back a great exercise for building overall size in the legs and for maximizing leg strength. When you descend into a front squat with the bar supported on the front of your shoulders and upper chest, you have to keep your torso more upright to balance the bar. This means that you have less forward bend at the hips and consequently less extension at the hips when you drive up out of the bottom position of the squat. Therefore, the front squat involves less hamstrings and glutes than the back squat which makes the front squat a great way to place more emphasis on the quads for better targeted development of the front of the thigh. Plus, a University of Florida study found that when weight training athletes did the front squat, the stress placed on the knees was 20% lower than when they did the back squat. This makes the front squat a good alternative for those with knee issues and find that doing the traditional back squat causes them knee pain. The front squat is a tough exercise to master, so if you find that it's too difficult to do with a barbell, start off by using a Smith machine. Then, once you're comfortable doing front squats in the Smith machine, try them once again with a barbell. To perform the jump squat, stand with a shoulder width stance. Squat down and explode up, jumping as high as possible. Be sure when you land, that you drop down into a squat to reduce the amount of stress placed on your knee and ankle joints. Repeat for reps in this manner. So try adding ballistic exercises to your training. The best way to do this is at the start of your workouts when your muscles are fresh and strong. You can't build muscle power when your muscles are fatigued. Do two to three sets for three to eight reps per set. This will serve as a warm-up and help you build muscle power, strength, and muscle size.